All right, so today, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be checking out a video of a, uh, a a restaurant, get this, a restaurant that has a reputation as being one of the most fattening, one of the most unhealthy restaurants to ever exist. Customers have actually had a heart attack in this restaurant. The food is so unhealthy and so fattening, far worse than McDonald's. At most restaurants having three customers suffer heart attacks after eating at the establishment would be a source of great concern and shame, something to be minimized and explained away. But not at one spot where they actually promote how unhealthy it is, offering free meals to its most obese patrons and even... <laughs> What? They offer free food to obese people? Oh, they're trying to kill the fat people. Are you kidding me? Celebrating a death on the premises. It's aptly named the Heart Attack Grill. I wonder we why. ABC's Ryan Owens to check out their new digs in none other than Sin City. Vegas, right? In a country where calories are posted Screw you, McDonald's. on restaurant menus, where unhealthy school lunches are under fire, and where our first lady has a vegetable garden, there is an alternative reality. This was a while like ago. This, this what? monument. What? 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 It's medical themed? Did you see that? My dude's in a wheelchair with the with the with the gown on. Who would go there? This monument to greasy gluttony. Almost there. Almost done with this uh, single <laughs> bypass. Is called the heart attack grill. Single bypass. It's a oh. defiant throwback oh. to a pre-health obsessed America. Hello. A kind of hospital. Okay, look at that. This is like Hooters almost. Hey, Daddy, I finally made it. Yeah, I got a job showing off my body. Anyway, it's a heart attack grill. Yeah, I'm not being groped by drunk guys anymore, but it's just obese guys. I'm sorry, I would never want to work at a restaurant like this. Oh. Little themed Hooters, located where else? Hooters, Sin wow. City. But as you're about to find out, eater beware. This restaurant can literally be hazardous to your heart. Remarkably, the owner says it's all done in the name of promoting good health. No ah. one among us has to tell the truth. And that's what we're doing here. Diners must wear hospital gowns. People 350 pounds plus eat free. They're cheering and she weighs 427 pounds? These people want to die. I need a water and a treadmill. Oh, and a salad. I, I, I feel so unhealthy watching this. I'm putting weight on just watching the video. In a way, it's sort of like baiting people in. So it's like offering free crack to addicts. If you can become fat enough to eat free here, we'll give you food, like all the food you want. It's like they're trying to force people to get even more fat to meet that goal to get free food. That's disgusting. And she's cheering. Their flatliner fries cooked in lard are unlimited. Unlimited? First, try the all butter fat shake. Or maybe a shot of vodka served in a prescription pill bottle. And new to this menu, a burger with eight patties, almost tw You call that a burger? My boy, that's like a miniature building or something. How would you even fit that in your mouth? Jesus. 20,000 calories. 20,000? Of nearly 40 Big Macs. What? Oh, and if you don't finish your meal, you get spanked. What? By a nurse. She's oh, not exactly- Oh shit, damn, oh, I might go there, damn. I'm just joking. You get spanked if you don't finish your food? That's incredible. Who would go here? I can't even imagine the embarrassment of going to a restaurant and, and, and being weighed and putting on a gown and then being spanked if you can't finish your 20,000 calorie burger. Exactly a real RN, <laughs> but her spankings are real, real hard. Oh, mm. The restaurant and all of its repulsive excess seems right at home among the tourist traps in downtown Las Vegas. Its owner, perhaps the ultimate Vegas showman, Are you gonna finish your burger next time? Yeah, I'll try. Is John Basso. Are you kidding me? This act, is unreal. He likes to be called Dr. John. Now breathe in for me. Dr. Heart Attack would be a badass name. You should be called Dr. Heart Attack. Dr. John has become something of a superstar in the fast food world. In his trademark over-the-top way, he depicts himself as Jesus Christ at the Last Supper, <laughs> dining what? with the industry's other giants. 
This guy's a legend. He's certainly come a long way since I first met him almost three years ago at his first heart attack grill outside Phoenix, Arizona. Back then, the restaurant was under fire after its nearly 600-pound spokesman, Blair Rivers, died of obesity-related issues. He was just 29. There's an argument to be made. Is it worth it? Like, is food worth it to die at 29 years old? Okay, fair enough. It is probably worth it, but it's not a good idea. This man was only 29 years old. He had the entire rest of his life to look forward to, and then he died from food. Like, people don't understand. Food can be one of the biggest killers of all time, even more so than alcohol, cigarettes, and drugs, and no one cares. Blair Rivers died of obesity-related issues. He was just 29. There's an argument to be Insane. made that you use this guy during his life and that now you are very morbidly using his death to continue to promote your restaurant. I absolutely agree. And in a very sick way, his death has gotten the message out further. So this man's death has not given you pause at all? Zero pause. Dr. John's Vegas location is double the size of his old place in Arizona. Hello. And his in-house fatality rate it hasn't slowed a bit. But how many people have actually had heart attacks in the room that we're sitting in? In the room that we're sitting in, we've had three heart attacks. And how many people <laughs> have died? One. What? You mean people have had heart attacks in this restaurant? I'm sorry, but if I heard that my McDonald's down the street was causing people to have a heart attack, I'd go to Subway. Are you kidding me? Now, I would like to say that the other two I did the grandest of favors for because they now uniquely and in a very real way understand their own genetic shortcomings. Now the one that I couldn't save was a very dear friend of mine. And I want to tell you something. They'll say it's grotesque. They'll yes, say how they will. how can you keep the man's cremation here? And I'll tell you something. I am setting the bag on the table. And I'll <laughs> challenge any Are you are you, you've got to be joking. He's got the cremated ashes of the last guy that worked there in a bag on a table. Does he know no bounds? This guy just does not give a shit. I mean, to be fair, though, that would be a huge deterrent for me eating at their restaurant. You know, just, you're in there. Yeah, I'll have a triple bypass surgery, a, a burger, rather, probably the surgery, too. And uh, then they come in. And they're like, here's your burger, sir. Oh, I can't finish it. I'm already full from the fattening fries. I'll take my spanking now from Mrs. Nurse over there. Plop! Bag of ashes on the table. What's that? That was the last guy that spoke for me, that worked here. He's dead now. Any other restaurant to set the bag on the table. I'm talking about a bag of truth. About what's not going to happen. Truth? If you don't listen to me, this will happen. This was a good man with hopes and dreams who couldn't control his eating habits. That Inside so his bag are the remains of yet another spokesman, John Ailman. Oh, he ate at the restaurant. Shit, a little nurse got an arm on her, damn. But people are actually dying. So that's kind of where the, the gig has to stop. What do you say? People are dying. People will continue to die. Can they just stop, pause, and reflect upon the food for thought that I'm selling? It's food not for thought. it's not t-shirts, it's not french fries. I'm selling you food for thought and a good laugh. Let's all have a good time, but let's really digest this. Let's think a bit, or we're going like to end up words. exactly like my friend in the bag. Digest, food for thought. Until then, Dr. John is the first to admit heart attacks are part of his business model. When there are lights and sirens outside and they're bringing some person out on a gurney, you're basically in the back room counting money at that point. Absolutely. Was <laughs> that God. heart attack? Good? This guy is so morbid. He's got the ashes of a dead man. He's counting money after a heart attack. I can't tell if he's a genius that will literally scare people away from unhealthy food or if he just realizes that death pays, you know? Like, obesity is going to pay the bills. I, I don't know what to think of this guy. He's clearly cold. Like, he's an ice cube. He does not care at it's all. Business. Did that heart attack pad my wallet with money absolutely did i enjoy that absolutely i'm a businessman first and foremost let's be clear about something i'm not peddling hamburgers to small children without parental guidance these are adults purchasing a legal substance from me i want one i know i've paused a lot but that's very creative language a legal substance 
Weed, I don't think has ever killed anyone illegal. Steroids, which people use to enhance their athletic abilities, get stronger and healthier, and I don't think anyone has ever died from that, at least not directly, that's illegal. There's so many things that are perfectly fine that are illegal, yet, yet, this, one of the biggest killers in America, legal. It's amazing. And only one thing. I want my message out there loud and clear. I am a believer that when people hear my message, the net health benefit to society is incredibly good. He recently hired a very short nurse to speed Midget. around in a mini ambulance delivering beers. <laughs> no has, way! Has its perks. And Mike's my hero. He also found a new Heart spokesman attack. for the restaurant. 460-pound Mike Lee just oh, suffered his first heart attack, but he's still alive and chilling. You mean you just suffered a heart attack and you're going to become a spokesman for a restaurant where the last guy just died and he's ashes in a bag. Are you kidding me? I'm sorry, at this point, these type of people, they don't even want to be alive. Well, let's just be honest. How are you doing on the program, Mike? Great. And while people keep dying, the heart attack grill keeps thriving. We both double. <laughs> You see the way this bitch is over here with the little dainty fingers putting one little french fry in? Please! I know when you're by yourself, you wad all your food up into a ball and then shove it down your throat. Keeps thriving. We've both doubled in terms of money, in terms of square footage, but we've exponentially grown when you want to talk about extending the message. Dr. John hopes to continue to grow and expand his morbid message to an even bigger audience. Perhaps in a city near you. <laughs> that little kid is gonna put that enormous burger down his throat? I, I don't think so. You're gonna choke and die. That'll be fatality number three in the restaurant. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Listen, just eat responsibly, eat clean, eat healthy. You can make great tasting burgers and french fries that aren't loaded with all that crap in it, you know? So just try and eat clean and stay away from fast food. It's not worth dying at a young age to have a few Big Macs. The thing is though, healthy food is so much better tasting than trash food. Like I'm not even kidding. You have a healthy meal. You feel great. Your body's happy. You're, you're happy. You have McDonald's. You're hungry five minutes later and feel like garbage all day. So I don't know. Would you eat there or not? Would you get spanked for not finishing your meal? Weird concept. I don't know if he's going to get the message across necessarily doing this. I feel like a lot of the people that go here and buy food are just the type of people that are easily entertained. Oh, girls, spankings, uh, free food, let's go! They're not actually thinking about this as a message, you know what I'm saying? So, who knows? Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Eat clean and peace out.